speeding in your car in Alabama. They've got signs now um, trying to reduce fatalities. Now, I was on a highway coming home last night and I wanted to show you what it's like. It says 50 um, along the road, the 50 mile an hour. Now, that's, then it's got signs, um, double speed fines if workers are present, um, even though it was at night time. And, you know, I only showed you two examples of two cars, or one car and a truck that passed um, in a 50 zone, 50 mile zone. I showed you the speed that I was doing, which was 50. Um, you may not be able to see the GPS, but it was on 50 also. Now, um, these trucks and cars are doing between 70 and 80. Um, <laughs> and it's scary because they can knock you over or give you, knock you up the ass and cause you to have a crash. Now, they're not following the rules. I don't know why Alabama has different rule for speeding, but it's scary sometimes, and I'd have to say this, that if, you're, if you go to overtake in the fast lane and you're doing 50 and you've got five cars behind you coming up doing about 80 mile an hour, you've got to put your foot down to, to change it because they're sitting up the back of your bumper like this. And it's very hard sometimes to move back into the right lane, the slow lane, if you're passing a truck. Now, I don't know what to do, but it's the law of the land for some reason. Um, if you have a look there, you'll see a little flash, and it's, it's, but you won't see the writing. It just says, um, you know, lowering for fatalities in Alabama. Now, <laughs> I don't know what to do about that either, because you can't lower something if the other people aren't abiding by the rules. Of course you can't catch everyone speeding, but what do you do? Exit right, then keep left. 